it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hey Penny, I'm glad to see you decided to get dressed finally for school. I mean, your bee outfit was cute and all, but this looks more like you're ready to learn some vocabulary. And that's awesome because it's vocabulary time, guys. So we have some vocabulary to learn. And we had a vocabulary wall for module zero, which we finished up and it had words on it like bookmobile and wild. And I'm sure you remember it also had some words like notice and wonder, which we're gonna have on a lot of our word walls. And so today I'm thinking about a word that we're gonna need to know to answer all of our questions. So let's see if any of our questions have a word in common. Let's check that out. So let's start with Ellie's question. So Ellie's big elephant question was, how do our senses help us learn? How do our senses help us learn? And then we had Fluffy's question, which was, what are our five senses? Hmm. And then we had Callie's question. Callie's question was, what do I notice and wonder about the book, My Five Senses? Anybody noticing a pattern here at all? A word that we've heard more than one time? Penny, what do you think it is? What do you think, what do you think? Whisper it, girl. Senses, yes, it's the word senses. So your senses are what we're going to be learning about for this whole module. We're learning about our five senses. And so we'll learn some songs and some dances. We'll learn some stories. We'll read lots of books. We'll learn about how we use our five senses. We'll answer our questions, like how we use our senses to learn, what our five senses are, and how we can notice and wonder in the book, My Five Senses. We'll learn that one quickly, right? We have something new. So last module, we had a wall with all the words on it that we needed to know. This time, we also have a journal. And this is a class journal. When you guys are bigger and you get in first grade and second grade and third grade, you guys will have your own vocabulary journal. And you're welcome to keep your own vocabulary journal at home. That's completely fine. But we're going to keep one as a class. So this is our class journal. And it says Miss Marty's Kindergarten Vocabulary Journal. And that means it's for our whole class. We're all going to be, I'm gonna be adding things in here and then we'll go back and read them once in a while and echo read the words. So in here, I already have some words that you guys know. I have the words notice, notice, and wonder. And then today I added senses because senses is a really important word that we're gonna use a lot in the next months ahead in school. So it says here that senses are when you use your body parts to experience the world around you. And so I have to think that, I mean, maybe is my elbow one of my five senses? I could use that to experience the world around me, right? See like, hey, elbow bump girl, what's up? Do you think it's one of my five senses? I don't think you do. I read and listened to some of your discussion answers about what you know about the five senses and nobody said, my elbow is one of my five senses. So I'm pretty sure that it's not, but I still have so much more to learn. So the first thing is, Penny did say that we should think about using the book that Callie mentioned. So Callie's content framing question, again, let me get that back out, was what do I notice and wonder about the book, My Five Senses? And so I have to think we're gonna need that book, right? So here's the book my five senses and there's some things I notice about it right when I pick up the book. So the first thing I notice is that it has a front cover. Can you guys echo say that front cover? So my turn, front cover, your turn, front cover. Perfect. I also notice if I flip it over, bam, it has a back cover like most books do, right? So it has a back cover, me, back cover, you back cover. Good job. So echoing helps us remember things, helps us stay alert, helps us keep paying attention, helps us learn everything we need to know in kindergarten so we can move on to first grade later. 
Next, when I open up my book, I'm going to find something else special. I'm going to find this page right here. This is called the title page. The title page is really important, and we're going to learn more about that in just a minute. But let's do an echo of what this is. Title page. Nice job, kindergartners. You're doing great. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's look at this front cover. And Oh, Penny, did you have a question? Oh yeah, sure, I can pick you up so you can see closer. She kind of wants to see a little bit closer, so I got her here. She's got her cute little rock and school shoes on, so she's all ready. So Penny, do you see this? Yeah? Oh, you wanna know what it's for? Oh, okay, so that's a really good question. Penny wants to know what the front cover tells us. Why do we even need it, right? So Penny, the front cover tells us the name of the book. It tells us the title, and it also tells us who the story is by. So it tells us that this story is written by Margaret Miller, and it tells us that the name of the book is My Five Senses. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, good point. So now she wants to know what does the back cover tell us? Well, let's look. The back cover of this book also tells us the name of the book, My Five Senses, and it tells us some information that might be in the book. It gives us kind of a hint as to what's going to be in there and some pictures and also some reviews. Some other people who've read the book who are telling us what they think about it. And they say things like, intelligently crafted, offering for the youngest, for the exceptionally creative, and the amazing. It also says, outstanding science trade book for children. And it's a bookless reader's choice. Which I'm guessing is why we're reading it in class, because it's a reader's choice award book. Mm -hmm. So, tells us a lot on the back cover. Tells us a little bit on the front cover, name of the book and the author. And then on the inside, we have this title page. And Penny wants to know, what does the title page tell us? Well, guess what? The title page tells us the title. It's called the title page because it has the title on it. Penny, I'm going to put you down so I can show the boys and girls up close what the title looks like. So this is the title, My Five Senses. And it's by Margaret Miller. And on the front cover, you'll see that same thing. My Five Senses by Margaret Miller. So what's really cool about the title page is that it gives us the title again. So we really know what book we're reading and how important that's going to be. How does that sound, Penny? Does that sound good? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm going to leave you with the book. And I'm going to have you think about while we listen to me read the story. I have a video that I made for you guys of me reading the story. I'm going to have you guys really think about noticing and wonder. What's that, Penny? Oh, you brought your magnifying glass, did you? Penny brought her magnifying glass. You guys have one of those? Helps you notice like more closely stuff in the book. You guys have your own copy of the book too. So use your magnifying glass, follow along with me as I read the story and see what you notice today. And what you wonder about the book, My Five Senses by Margaret Miller. Let's listen.